Hello, I'm Cheryl Morales of the Newport News Tourism Development Office, and welcome to another show on what's new in Newport News. Did you hear that? I think it was the roar of the dinosaurs. They're back at the Virginia Living Museum. But they sound a little different. So here to tell us all about it is Chris Lewis, Director of Education. Thank you, Chris, so much for being with us. Thank you so much for inviting me to be here. Well, they're back, but this popular event is a little different, isn't it, this yes. year? Yes, yes it is. It's Dinos Live, and it will be with us right through Labor Day. We're pretty excited about this whole thing. For one thing, it's included with the cost of admission. Oh, good. So it's a oh, nice. big exhibit that you're automatically going to have access to. And it's the first time that we've used Billing Productions. They are the foremost creators of animatronic dinosaurs in the whole country. Animatronics? Is that what you said? Animatronics. Oh, wow. Each animal has is powered by a pneumatic system. It has a steel frame. It has this very realistic outside covering, but it has its own electronic brain that controls all the movements with all kinds of things that I don't understand inside. <laughs> and they really look real then. They yes. must. Very realistic movement and they roar. It's just absolutely fabulous. Oh, that's great. Um, so tell me, uh, what will the visitors see when they go through the exhibit? Well, first you're going to step back in time more than 65 million years. That's about when T-Rex was ruling the dinosaur world. And we're bringing in some creatures that we've never exhibited before. Um, just a couple new ones that, one of them that really excites me is called City Patty. It has a very strange name. It has nothing to do with living in the city. It's a big bird-like dinosaur that looks like an ostrich, except it was about nine feet long and weighed 500 pounds. It had feathers. Oh. It was a feathered dinosaur. Didn't fly. And what time period again was this? We're looking at just around a little before 65 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. Oh my. So T-Rex will be there. He'll be one of the ones. Will be, we, yeah, sure he will. He's our favorite. <laughs> so we also have some others that are going to be with us. Like um, there was a, a mother, right? With yes. Um, none of these guys have common names really because they're not all that usual. I mean, you just don't see them. But Edmontosaurus, which was found in Canada, is a dinosaur with a brood. You can see a brood of eggs. Oh. She was a, she took care of her babies. Okay. I have heard that there really hasn't been any discovery of dinosaur fossils in Virginia. Is that right? Well, not bones, ah. but we have found footprints. So we know we had dinos in Virginia. We just haven't found any bones and all around us, other states, you know, have dug them up. So somebody's sure. going to get lucky one day and find them. They've but got to have been here. You've, you've got the, they were here. They were here. You've they got the here. tracks here, but yeah. Um, yeah, but not one bone has been discovered. Not yet. But what do we have in front of us here? Some interesting things here. Um, these two items are dinosaur items, but they didn't come from Virginia, obviously, because we don't have uh, remains um, left over. But okay. This is a favorite. It's called a coprolite. It's studied by paleontologists to determine what dinosaurs ate. That's what I thought it was. Is it really? <laughs> it really is. It's fossilized dinosaur dung. Do, yeah, you guys, there you go. <laughs> and this one is really kind of bizarre. Uh, looks like a rock because it is a rock. But there were some dinosaurs that had gizzards like chickens and you know how chickens have to eat grit, grit in order to digest their, their food. These dinosaurs had great big grit. So people say, well, how do you know that's what it was? Because when you find a pile of rocks in the place where the gizzard is inside a dinosaur skeleton, it's a gizzard it's stone. A oh my, Yeah. wow, that's one big. So that is piece of grit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now this one nice. did live around here. This okay. is a scallop called Chesapecten Jeffersonius, named for the Chesapeake Bay and also a connection to Thomas Jefferson. But this is our state fossil. Ah. It lived four to five million years ago. Wow. And we find them, we find them on the James River, we find them uh, washed out of cliffs in the area. Um, part of the part of the formation that's common around that here. That is huge. That one's a particularly nice example. Wow, very nice, yeah. very nice. Well, let's go back on to what you have at your at your place. Um, along with this, you also have some other outdoor adventures. We do. We have a fossil find, and the fossil find is an opportunity for people of any age, really, to go looking for, picking through rich fossil dirt 
um, to find real Yorktown formation fossils that are three and a half to five million years old. They'll be able to sift through it, they'll be able to keep anything that they find, and museum people will help them identify what they get out of that pile. So you that's know, gonna be pretty darn exciting. Every child, I think, at one point in their lifetime wants to be just that, yep. you know, somebody who discovers the dinosaur bones um, and playing in the dirt and the sand, right? It just is natural. But I think it's in us as well too, every adult, you know, the child in us wants to do it as well. It's so much fun. Yeah. And the fact that we're gonna be able to do this on a bigger scale this summer is very, very exciting. Well, I'm really excited to see this and to see the dinosaurs. So please, can you tell us again about the uh, all the information, the ticket pricing and, and all? The exhibit's going to run through Labor Day. Uh, adult ticket prices are $17, children are 13. And that includes the dinosaur exhibit and the outdoor fossil find. Well, great, and at the same time, we'll be able to check out a new permanent exhibit that you have, is that right? Yes, this, this is a brand new exhibit called Wild and Well, and it's a role play opportunity for children of all ages, really, to discover what it's like to be an animal keeper or a veterinarian. So we're creating a space inside the museum where we will have uh, a, a place for them to prepare food for stuffed animals that oh. look like, you know, the animals that we have on exhibit, our native animals. Hopefully the kids will learn about the importance of diets and that'll translate to the importance of their own diets. They will learn how the animals are cared for and in the veterinary section, they'll be able to look at real animal x-rays from our own uh, animals on exhibit. They'll be able to uh, check them over, use stethoscopes, um, and just learn how uh, veterinarians take care of our animals and keep them healthy. Where are these exhibits located? We have just remodeled the Discovery Center on the lower level. So as you take the spiral stairway all the way to the lower level on the left-hand side, um, you can't miss it. It's going to be prominently out there and full of things to do. I can't wait to go back to the Virginia Living Museum so that I can check out this permanent exhibit now, but also to see the dinosaurs. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you very much for having me. We're gonna take a short break right now to see if you can answer this trivia question. We'll be right back with our next guest from the Mariners Museum and the Peninsula Fine Arts Center. So don't go away. Something big is coming to the Virginia Living Museum this summer. Extinct? Says who? Dinos Live, plus Outdoor Fossil Find. Can you dig it? This summer, only at the Virginia Living Museum in Newport News. Of all the amazing and wonderful things you'll find at the Virginia Living Museum, the delicate and fleeting, the wondrous and awe-inspiring, the rare and irreplaceable, the things we protect more than anything are moments like this. The Virginia Living Museum in Newport News. Protect what's precious. Well, welcome back to What's New in Newport News. To continue our conversation on our museum summer exhibits, we have with us today Anne-Marie Miller of the Mariners Museum. Hello. And also from the Peninsula Fine Arts Center, Diana Blanchard Gross. Hello. Hi, thank you both for being with us today. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Well, Anne-Marie, dinosaurs are roaming around Newport News. <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, <laughs> we just heard from the Virginia <laughs> Living Museum and their exhibit that they have going on this summer, yes. Dinos Live. Yes. Um, but I also hear the Mariners also has dinosaurs roaming around, yeah. but a little different. Yeah, a little bit different. Dinosaurs are above the water, and of course we're the Mariners Museum, so our dinosaurs are below their water. They're not actually really called dinosaurs, okay. but they were around at the same period. So um, the title of the exhibit is Savage Ancient Seas, Dinosaurs of the Deep. Very good, wow, and I, they're just as big though, aren't they? They are, and just as ferocious too, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure, I wouldn't want to be down there with no, them, no. no. <laughs> well, where did you fit these dinosaurs in your museum? They are in the exhibition space that is right off the main lobby, so you are not gonna miss them when you come to the Mariners Museum, they are gonna be right there. Um, we're gonna have the models of these 
these creatures that will be hanging from the ceiling, mm -hmm. they will be um, on the floor. You'll be able to walk underneath some and around some, and be it's real up close to up, some, up right? Close yes. to some, yeah. The the um, you know the large large skeletal um, models that will be out there. It's going to be a really great exhibition for really people of all ages. Um, uh, how much is it? Is there an extra cost no, to see these? No, it's just the regular price of admission to come in. No, um, no upcharge or anything like that. Um, so hopefully we'll have people who come again and again and again because not only is the exhibition going to be great, but we've got some great programming to go along with it. Oh, great. well, okay. You mentioned it, so <laughs> you <laughs> bring out the secret. Uh, okay, well, let's see. We have uh, a number of different camps for students students oh. and those will be week-long camps um, depending on the age of the child anywhere from a half day to a full day camp and with that um, you know the, the Mariners Museum has a huge park as well and so we're figuring that you know looking at, at some of the the maps from years and years ago you know going back in time say maybe 70 million years that this area was underwater and so part of our camps are going to be to take the students out into the Mariners Museum Park. And we're going to see if there are maybe some remains that um, might be on our property. Wow, yeah. won't that be yeah. exciting. So, and um, we're working with a student from, a paleontology student from William & Mary. And she has, she's already done a few samples. Of, and, you know, there's something, may not be 70 million years old, but you know, shells and things like that. And yeah. so it, it's going to be a great experience for, for students where, you know, the kids get to come in and they get to be paleontologists for a week. So, I think that's fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, on a clearly side note, but my first time being introduced to something like that was mm -hmm. the uh, movie. Uh, Jurassic Park, uh, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden it was like, wow, that's what I want to do, you yeah. know? Hopefully they um, won't come alive, though. No, <laughs> like I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Peninsula Fine Arts Center, located right next door to the Mariners yes, Museum. Yes. Yes. You have a great exhibit going on. We do, we do. We don't have dinosaurs, but um, we do have a wonderful traveling exhibition um, from the National Watercolor Society. Since 1925, the National Watercolor Society has chosen a select group of paintings mm -hmm. to travel um, around and kind of serve as ambassadors for the society as well as the artists that they represent in their membership. And they um, and the artists, uh, you know, it's a wonderful group. I mean, over the years that this exhibition has traveled, um, they've had you know wonderful American masters such as um, Edward Hopper and Andrew Wyeth, as well as contemporary masters that have been in this exhibition. And they really, it's it's approximately 30 paintings that they jury down from this large annual exhibition and the great thing is the this traveling exhibition travels the, around the United States for a whole year wow. and, and, and it travels to some of the finest art centers and we are so privileged and honored to have it at the Peninsula Fine Arts Center. Absolutely and what an honor for them yes. to be chosen. This yes. has been going on since 1925. 25. Yes. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, okay give us a little glimpse of who was chosen for this year's. Well you know we have we do have a few Virginia artists um, that are in the show um, and, and, it's a, and it's a wonderful representation of not just representational watercolors but also some abstract pieces and it's all over the all over the country international. I mean, we, there are artists from, uh, you know, uh, Canada and Mexico and um, just all over the place. So I think people will really be inspired to maybe take up watercolor. Who knows? Oh, so. there you go. <laughs> well, or at least maybe take a class, right? Of course, of course. Um, also, we have another show, Virginia Watercolorists. Um, some of the artists that are from Virginia, four of them, uh, are also going to have a group show at the Art Center. So it'll be a nice... Uh, nice comprehensive um, ex uh, examination of Virginia watercolorists. So. And when is that? Um, all of this, um, the exhibitions, they all run until June 29th. Right. So um, we encourage everyone to come in and, and check it out. Okay, that's great. <laughs> well, I know that uh, the dinosaurs are with us for a little bit longer. Yes. Is that right? Yes. How long are they <laughs> with us for? Actually, they are going to stick around until the 1st of January. Wow. So, yeah, wow. First week of January. Very so. good. Mm -hmm. So then give us a little glimpse into the 
rest of the summer? What's going to be rest, happening? The rest of the summer, um, well, you say next, and that's actually the title of oh. our next <laughs> exhibition. It's called Next Emerging Virginia Artists, and we're looking at artists in the Commonwealth that have some sort of Virginia connection, and we're really highlighting artists that maybe have just graduated from art school or graduate st arts um, students, artists that are just starting out. And we really want to highlight, so it's going to be very, um, very innovative, very different, you know, very unique, I guess, in okay. the sense. Yes, so, yes. Um, you know, murals and installation pieces. Um, so some different, some different looks. So that'll be happening in, in July, July, August. July, August, yeah, and for the a little summertime. bit October. And then after that show, we're actually doing um, having an exhibition on uh, called Environmental Impact. Okay. And Something which to look forward to. Exactly. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> well, we'll also have some special events that go along with all of this, too, because I know you guys are known for it. You put on <laughs> great parties, yes. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the Mariners Museum first. What uh, do you have going on? Well, we are in the fall. We will have a, um, a fundraiser event that will be, mm, I don't have a, a full title for it yet, but it's going to be partying amongst the dinosaurs ah. or you know partying under the sea with the sea creatures. Oh, there um, you go. <laughs> so, so anyway, so that's that's going to be in the fall. Um, during the run of the exhibition, we are also going to have some special programming just for you know, regular visitors coming into the museum. Um, on Saturdays, we will have Savage Saturdays, oh. which will be taking the idea of the camps where we're looking to see what's out in our park and we will actually have uh, samples, um, soil samples from the, the park where just any any person of any age can come in. It's not just for kids. So yeah. if the you know if the adults are going, oh man, I wish I could go to the camp. <laughs> right. They can come in on Saturdays and be really citizen scientists because you know we really do want to see is there something out there. Right. So. Well, and how about at, at the museum? Well, at the Peninsula Fine Arts Center, we have a wonderful array of different activities. One of the great things that we always offer the community is ev the first weekend of every month, we offer free admission. Yes. So um, Community it's, days, right? Yeah, it's, it's, yes. it's, it's yeah. a great opportunity for people to come and um, you know take a look around at what we're doing. Um, also, one of the great things that we just started, it's actually for our preschool um, set, and it's for kids age under five, and that's every Wednesday at 1030. Kids and their parents or caregivers can come and do something art related um, and get them started thinking about art. And then also, I mean, we have a myriad of, you know, art camps and art classes sure. throughout the sure. entire year. So uh, hopefully there's something for everyone. Definitely, um, we want the audience to go to your websites yes. because yes. I know yes. all of this information so is. Much. Yes, there is. Well, speaking of which, is there anything else that you wanted to add? Actually, we are. Um, we have a new uh, theater at the Mariners Museum. It's called the Explorers Theater because really anyone who goes to a museum is an explorer. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be Christopher Columbus or Jacques Cousteau or someone like that. Um, we all have something in common with, with those people who made history. And um, the idea is for our visitors to come in and we will be showing some 3D movies, but it is also equipped so that we can do um, two-way communications. So if there is a ship that is out doing a dive on, say, you know, the Titanic or the Monitor or, you know, a shipwreck, the visitors without leaving the museum will actually be on board that research vessel. And so we'll have activities like that, um, special screenings, um, you know, showing movies and things like that. And um, even an opportunity for people to dive on the monitor um, or try to discover the monitor um, through a simulated event where they get to choose. They'll look at um, primary source documents and we'll get to choose where they think the monitor wreck would be, and then we'll actually dive down <laughs> wow. to see if we have found the, the actual spot of the monitor wreck. That's so, very, yeah, that's it's gonna cool. Be fun. That's yeah. um, very interactive yes. and um, yes. almost like your other exhibit that you have um, when you're building your own monitor. Yes. You know, to see exactly. if it actually, you know, exactly. will float yep. or if it will sink. So yep. that's that's You get really to build fun. it, Good. then you can find it where it sinks. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have today. And I want to thank you both for being with us today. Oh, thank you very thank much. You. And I want to thank you for joining us. Like always, you can go to our website as well to find out more information about this and everything else that's going on in the city this summer. 
So visit us at newport-news.org or visit our Facebook and see what other events are happening. Thanks for joining us. Okay, kids, you heard them. Let's go. If you can't stop the rain, let Newport News be your umbrella to some rainy day fun. From museums to malls, from aquariums to interactive history, the great indoors of Newport News has so much to offer. Step back in time and hear tales from our past as you visit one of our many historic homes. You'll get a glimpse into the lives of many influential leaders that were part of Newport News's history. Explorers of all ages will discover new worlds, old treasures and timeless adventures at the Mariner's Museum. There's 60,000 square feet of exhibit space to explore, featuring sunken treasures from the Civil War ironclad USS Monitor. Visit the only museum that exhibits the history of the United States Army transportation, or trace America's military history from 1776 through the present at the Virginia War Museum. Explore a cave, swamp, waterfall, even the stars, all indoors at the Virginia Living Museum. Next, take in some creative culture at the Peninsula Fine Arts Center. The hands-on for kids gallery is always a hit with the little ones. What better excuse do you need to shop than a rainy day? From Patrick Henry Mall, Jefferson Commons, City Center, Port Warwick, and Hilton Village to our many museum gift shops. Newport News offers everything from national and upscale retail stores to quaint shops full of antiques, collectibles, and specialty items. And of course, all that shopping creates an appetite. Good thing you're near hundreds of restaurants that are sure to please. From fresh Chesapeake Bay crabs to mouth-watering steaks, our city offers some of the finest restaurants around. And this is just the beginning. So when Mother Nature takes control and the weather's not quite like you planned, just head to the great indoors of Newport News. Call our visitor center at 757-886-7777 for your rainy day fun guide to Newport News. Just sailed into Newport News? I'm Captain Christopher Newport, and things sure have changed around here since I brought news to the colonists here over 400 years ago. The right tool for navigation is very important. The Passport to Newport News audio CD driving tour with 23 points of interest is full of stories about Newport News and its fascinating history. Hold this line, men! Fire! Name's Nate. Earned my wages over at the shipyard, helping with the war effort. Things sure did change fast after the yard lost Mr. Hopkins. You'll explore attractions, historic sites, parks, entertainment venues, and shopping districts. Come on, Mom. Whoa, come on, come on. Come on, Mom. Shh, okay, we're going in. The Passport to Newport News Audio CD Driving Tour can be purchased at the Newport News Visitor Center. Exit 250B from I-64 or contact them at 757-886-7777. Enjoy your voyage.